Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company, and I've been getting some questions ever since the Twisby Classic came out about whether or not it works on a Twisby Diamond 50 inkwell. Well, if you only want to watch 10 seconds of this video, yes, it does fit, but I'll show you how here if you want to keep on watching. So of course Twisby coming out with the new Twisby Classic raised the questions, is this going to fit on the Diamond 50 inkwell? This inkwell was originally released with the Twisby 540, which has since been replaced by the 580. Will it fit on there? And the answer is yes. So of course you can use it just like you would any other pen, either with or without the cone insert here. You can fill it directly from the bottle, just like you would any other bottle of ink. But the neat thing about this Twisby inkwell, if you have one or not or whatever, you just are curious about it, is you can actually unscrew just this black part here, and it's got several different steps. Now you can fit a standard international converter on here, you can fit the, the 530, 540, 580, Twisby Mini, and now the Twisby Classic on here. And the cool thing about this is that you don't get your hands all inky, you don't get, you don't get a mess at all. So the way that this thing works is it has this uh, kind of rod that goes down here and it's you know got a hole in it, it's basically a straw. Okay, so you take this part and with your cap on and everything, if you've got the cone insert in there, you need to kind of flip the bottle upside down and get some ink into that insert. You don't have to have that insert in there if you're using this method, but I've already got it in there. So if you do, you want to make sure that you at least have ink in that insert. Otherwise, you're just going to be drawing air. So the way that you do that is you, the way that you fill this thing from this bottle is you take and you grab onto the grip section and unscrew the nib completely off, grip and all. Now, if you're just grabbing here at the middle of the grip section and you turn, you're going to be turning for quite a while because there's nothing that's holding this grip section to the nib that's actually unscrewing out of the unit there, out of the, out of the body. So it's actually, you gotta grab up near this metal part here. You don't wanna go grabbing the nib, you just wanna grab right here around this metal collar, and that's what's actually going to get you somewhere. Because this part here, this is just free spinning. So this is just gonna turn and twist and it's not gonna do much for you. Uh, it's actually this part here that's what's fitting into the pen. Isn't that kind of neat? So that will, help you out if you do get confused about that. But you don't even need any of that to fill this here. What we really need is this part. So we're filling from here to the bottle. And it's just gonna take and it's gonna stick right on here. Now there's kind of three steps that are on this part and it's gonna fit kind of on that second step or the middle step, whatever you wanna call it. So it should fit on there. It may have a little bit of play, uh, but it should be, should be okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to draw and fill from this pen just as if you would otherwise. And I'm unscrewing it right now. Sorry, it's out of frame, but it's actually drawing into the pen out of that straw. And just to show you that it actually drew, I'm gonna unscrew it and show you all that ink that it just filled from. So voila, there you go. And then once you've got the thing full, you don't wanna expel it back into the bottle like I just did. I was just doing that for demonstration purposes. But once you have the thing inked up, all you gotta do is screw the nib section back on. You don't have ink all over your grip section. You don't have ink all over your nib. You can go about and write it. The only thing is if you're filling the pen for the first time or after a fresh cleaning or something like that, you may just wanna take and expel just a little bit down through the feed to kind of get the thing primed up so that you can be ready to write. But otherwise, that is how you fill Twisby Classic from the Diamond 50 inkwell. I don't know what questions you could possibly have in this super short video. <laughs> but if you do have any questions, you can be sure to leave me a comment on YouTube or Ink Nouveau, or you can always hit me up on Twitter or Facebook as well. Appreciate you watching today, and right on.